Hey everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach. Really excited about today's video. Today we're going to take a look at the three main types of surge protection. Type 1, Type 2, and Type 3. What are they? Do we need surge protection? We're going to break it all down now. Before we get started, I want to give a shout out to the sponsor of today's video. It's ICM Controls. They are your one-stop shop for all things controls. Surge protection, motor starters, line voltage monitoring, head pressure controls, defrost, fan controls, ECM controls, and thermostats, and much, much more. I'm going to put a link down in the description below where you'll be able to purchase some of their products directly. You can also find a distributor for these products. Thank you, ICM. We're going to learn a little bit more about them later in the video. Let's get to it. Let's dive right into type one. Type one surge protection is installed on the line side of the main OCPD, which is the overcurrent protective device. Whether this is main breaker or main fuses, it doesn't really matter. It's on the line side of it. Primarily, it's used for utility surges and other things that can happen with utility and lightning strikes. Another good thing that this can protect you from that most people don't think about is from the modern day solar panels that interact with the grid. With that being said, one of the type devices are like this. This actually clips in between your meter socket and the meter from your utility company, and that would provide that line side surge protection. You also can use one of these like an ICM surge protector. This one specifically is rated for type one and type two, and you can use it in both ways. Just make sure however you're installing it, you're using all of the manufacturer specifications and in accordance with the NEC and local codes. Now let's talk about type two surge protection. Type two is installed on the load side of the main overcurrent protective device. This is on the load side, whether it's at the main panel, a sub panel, or five panels downstream, all of these would be considered type two if you're installing them inside of the panel. They're to protect from utility surges, lightning strikes, and internal surges, whether it be from a motor, a compressor, something failing along those lines, also in line with your solar, just like we talked about before. A couple examples of these are just like this ICM model here. This is going to be rated for a type one and type two, depending on where you install it in the system. Highly recommend checking out ICM. Thank you for sponsoring this video. And this is another style. With the Siemens one, it actually acts as the breaker and a main whole home surge protector. Now let's learn about type three. And the final type of surge protection is type three, and that's the one that we're most familiar with as homeowners and just the general public. It's our last line of defense. This includes our plug-in and our wired devices. It's extra protection from utility surges, lightning strikes, and internal surges. One example is this style right here. This is a receptacle style surge protector to give you that on-site protection. And then the one that we're all most familiar with is going to be our strip surge protector. Now, all of these devices, whether one, two, or three, have a lifespan. They can only handle so many surges before the device has fulfilled its purpose. So make sure that you're checking these and making sure that they're still working. Some of them come with indicator lights. They come with alarms. Or sometimes it has an, a light that comes on only when the device is dead. Now, previously, in the 90s, we'll say, we used to only protect our TVs, right? Maybe our computers. Well, now we're protecting everything. Everything in your home has some type of computer chip in it, from your thermostat to the board that's inside of your furnace, all the way to your microwave, dishwasher, dryer, washing machine. They all have boards in them. And I highly recommend getting all of these levels if you can, but at a minimum getting type two and type three. Make sure you contact a qualified licensed electrician in order to be able to perform these and follow all local and national codes. I am the Electrical Code Coach, and my bargain is that these videos will add value to you, and you will in turn add value to others. If there's anything I can do to help you in life or business, you can always just email me at electricalcodecoach at gmail.com. I want to give a shout out again to ICM Products and Controls. Just head over to icmcontrols.com, and they will take good care of you, and I will put some links down in the description below. I am the Electrical Code Coach. Let's get to it.